Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to do limits on graphs. So this is andymath.com and we'll do some sample problems talking about limits on graphs. For one through four uses this graph here. It's the first one says the limit as X approaches negative two from the left. This minus two here means from the left. So the limit as X approaches negative two from the left. So here's negative two. We're going to approach it from the left. So as we approach it from the left, what is the y value become? So as we approach x equals negative two from the left, what is the y value we're approaching? And we can see that that answer is two. We're approaching two as we go from the left. And we can check it, and that's the right answer. So the next one, number two says, what is the limit as we approach negative two from the right? So negative two from the right is gonna be going this direction for x which means that we ride along this line here. And what is the y value that we're approaching when we approach x equals negative two from the right? And that y value is also two. So the answer to this one is also two. So for number three, it says, what is the limit as x approaches negative two, but there's no plus or minus up here. It's just negative two. Well, that means the limit. And this will always exist if these two exist and if they're the same number. So since they're both two, that means that the limit as x approaches negative two is just two. It's the same thing as those two. Now, if one of these had been three, for example, the second one had been three, then that would not be two. It would be does not exist. And now f of negative two means what is the function value at negative two? Well, if we go to negative two and see where is the function defined, it's actually not defined anywhere. There's a hole at negative two, and there's not another dot filling the hole. If there had been another dot here, that would be filling it, but it doesn't. So this is actually undefined for f of negative two. So if these make sense, let's try a couple more. So it's the same picture, but it's four new questions. So this one is saying, what is the limit as x approaches one from the left? So it's not negative one. This minus up here means from the left. So we're gonna approach x equals one from the left, so we're gonna ride along this right here, this line. And what is the y value we're approaching as we come from the left? Well, we can see that that's three. So the answer to this one is three. Now the next one, number six says, what is the limit as x approaches one from the right? This plus symbol right here means from the right. So we're approaching from the right. So as we approach from the right, you can see it rides on this line and we're approaching y equals zero for this one. So the limit from the right is zero. And we can check that, and it's zero. Now it says, what is the limit as x approaches one of f of x? Anytime you see this, we need to check our left limits and our right limits. In this case, they don't equal each other, so this limit does not exist. And we can see that from the left and from the right, they're different numbers, so the limit does not exist. Now the last thing is f of one. What is the function value at one? So we find, well, it's a hole here, it's a hole here, but there's a nice filled in point here. So f of one is two. That's the function value at x equals one. And there it is. So if those make sense, let's do four more. Same graph again, but now we're gonna be approaching two. We have the left limit for number nine, the right limit for number 10, we have the limit for number 11 and then the function value at two for number 12. So what is the limit as X approaches two from the left? So here's two and we're gonna approach it from the left. So we are approaching at Y equals three. So the answer to this is three. Now the number 10 says, what is the limit as X approaches two from the right? So now we're approaching from the right. So we're gonna be riding on this line and we can see that it also approaches three. So that answers three. Now it says, what is the limit as X approaches two? Well, anytime you see that, we wanna compare the left and the right limits. They both exist and they're both equal to three. So this one is three. The limit from both the left and right are three. So the limit itself is three. And now F of two is saying, what is the function value at two? Well, we look here and we see that there's no holes so it's just gonna be whatever the line is at, at two. So it's true, there's no big dark dot, but we don't need a big dark dot. Each of these points is defined. 
and it happens to be occurring at three. So this is three. So one thing that might trip people up on these is they might say, oh wait, but there's no dot here. So how do I know that's the function value? Well, each of these points has a function value. This is defined right here. They just don't have room to fit all of the dots because there's so many. So it's just a straight line. And you just find out where does that line intersect your x equals two. So if that makes sense, let's try four more. Same graph again, but now we're approaching four from the left, from the right, the limit itself, and then the function value at four. So number 13 says, find the limit as x approaches four from the left. So here's four, so we're gonna approach from the left, which means we're going down this ramp right here. And we wanna know what is the y value as x approaches four. And we can see it's approaching one. So the limit from the left is one. Now for number 14, it says, what is the limit as we approach four from the right of f of x? So now we're going to the same four, but we're approaching from the right, and that's gonna be up here. And we can see as we approach from the right, we're approaching y equals two. So this is gonna be two for this one. So for number 15, what is the limit as x approaches four of f of x? So anytime you have the limit, you wanna compare the left limit and the right limit. One does not equal two. So the left limit does not equal the right limit, which means the limit itself does not exist. So we would need them both to be equal for it to exist. And the last question here, 16 f of four, wants to know what is the function value at x equals four? Well, it's not here because there's a hole right there and it is here. And this one has a nice big dot for us because it's showing that the top one's defined, not the bottom one. And that large dot occurs at two. So f of four is two. So I hope these make sense and we can do four more. And these are the last ones on this page. So we have the same graph again, but now we're gonna be approaching six from the left, from the right, the limit as we approach six, and then the function value at six. So for number 17 says the limit as we approach x from the left of f of x. So here's x, we're approaching from the left, so we're gonna be writing up here, and we can see that it's approaching y equals two. So the answer is two. Then the right limits, this says the limit is x approaches six from the right, the plus up there means from the right, and we're gonna go from the right, and that's also approaching two. Number 19 says the limit as x approaches six, so we need to look at the left limit and the right limit. They're both equal to two, so the limit itself is equal to two. So that's done. And the last question is, what is f of six? What's the function value at six? So we're at six, we wanna see where is it defined? Oh, well there's a filled in dot, here's an open dot. So this is a hole, so it's not defined there, but it is defined here. That's kind of plugged the hole, but in a different spot. And the answer is one, f of six equals one. And that's it. So hope these make sense. That was 20 problems going over limits on graphs. Uh, this is at andymath.com if you want to practice it on your own. Uh, its page is called Limits on Graphs, limits dash on graphs dash calculus. You can also go to andymath.com. Here's the homepage of andymath.com. Find calculus. And it's the top one here on calculus. And as you can see, there's lots of other topics for calculus that you may want to look at with practice problems and videos. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Andy Matt.